Hey guys, it's Danny Higgins here from Esquire Middle East and we are here at the new Sotheby's auction, Boundless Dubai. Hi Ashkan. Hi, Thank how so are you? Thank today. you for coming. So please, can you just tell me a little bit about yourself and Boundless Dubai here? Yes, uh, so my name is Ashkan Magasani. I'm the head of sale and expert for Middle Eastern art. This is our inaugural Dubai sale, very excited. It took a long time to put this together, so we're finally here. It's a sale that basically encapsulates so many different categories from prints to photography to Islamic, books and manuscript, contemporary, Middle Eastern art, design. And uh, that's really what we wanted to uh, portray through this sale, really uh, show how passionate we are about the region, but how also the region has been a hub for culture and arts for such a long time. We'd love to look at a few of the pieces. Yes. Uh, this piece particularly caught my eye as soon as we walked in. Can you talk a little bit about this? So this is a um, monumental work by Ali Beni Sadr. He grew up in Iran being heavily inspired by a few elements, uh, old master paintings, Persian miniatures, and uh, war, the atrocity and the intensity of the war. And this is quite a rare piece, I feel, because it's very explosive, it's very colorful. The characters, the figures are, are large, they're intense, they're they're present and uh, it's probably one of his best examples and his more mature one. Uh, the estimate is very, uh, very good and, um, and you rarely see such an important and a large work by the artist. One of our other highlights, an international artist, Jean Dubuffet, French of origin, where after the you know, collapse of Europe after the Second World War and the destruction of the cities, and uh, it was very, very unbearable for a lot of artists to be there. So he just packed his bags and went to the Sahara Desert, traveled to North Africa. And there he met with the local tribes, the Berber tribes and the local Bedouin tribes. And he painted only on paper because he painted them on the spot. Mm -hmm. These beautiful, and this is a very brut style, um, that's very uh, typical of Du Buffet. These palm trees, Bedouin camels, and this very bright sunlight. And what's quite fascinating for that period uh, is that a lot of the artists were stunned by the intensity of the sun mm -hmm. and the light, how the light was different. And you see that in a lot of uh, Du Buffet's painting. So this is a great piece, very well estimated. He's a key museum artist. I mean, most of the big museums in the world have a work by Du Buffet. Mm -hmm. And this is a rare series because he hasn't painted that many of them. Beautiful. Mm. Very nice. Different style, different genre. This is by Manoche Yektai, an American-Iranian artist. Moved to America very young in the early 50s, where he was actually part and very much embedded in the abstract expressionist New York school, uh -huh. which the most known figure are Pollock, Rothko, de Kooning. Uh, and he, so he was part of that group. Um, he has a very abstract expressionist style, as you can see. These are rare portraits he's done. He's quite known for his still lives, less for his portraits. This is a portrait of an ambassador's wife. And uh, what's great about Yektai's works is the heavy impasto on the work, uh, the paint. Impasto is uh, layers and layers and layers of paint which create a lot of three-dimensionality to a piece. Um, it's in good condition, the colors are vibrant, it has a lot of movement. Um, he's probably the hottest Iranian artist at the moment because of his very Western style. Uh -huh. 